Hello guys, based on your request, I will show you exactly how I got my first job in freelance. So uh, I created uh, an account on a lot of different platforms and this is the one that I like the most. And yeah, it's worked for me. I got my first work here in freelancer.com. I also liked Fiverr, but it's work, uh, it works in a different way. Uh, anyways, you have to create an account here. Uh, just finish, sign up and everything. I will log into my account. So the first thing you want to do is complete your profile. Just go to your profile here, click view profile and complete uh, your, your profile. So um, the, the two most important things to focus on in your profile is first the description. Um, you should show who you are and in your description. And uh, if I read the description, I should know what to ask from you. Uh, I guess this is clear. The second thing I really uh, recommend for you to focus on is the skills section. It's very important. Uh, it's it's what the the freelancer platform uh, based on to suggest for you projects. Uh, make sure to not miss any skill that you have. Uh, try to put uh, to put all of them in your skill set. I'm by all of them I mean all skills that you have. Um, I, I don't recommend you put some skill that you are not good at. The projects will be suggested for you uh, from this update section or by email. You will get emails about uh, uh, suggested uh, projects which is really good and this browse you can browse for projects. I don't really use it much but try it, it might be useful for you. Um, in this update section Literally, every second a uh, project gets, gets posted. For example, let's just choose one. Check this one, well done e-commerce website. So you read the, the description and the employer budget, just to have an idea about the price that the employer accepts. Uh, if you decide that this project is, uh, is good for you, then you go here and you place the price that you want to get paid and the duration that you estimate for completing this project. And the most important th thing when bidding on a project or when making a proposal is the describing, describing your proposal. Uh, and my first time, what I did and to make it easy for you, I went to this tab, Proposals. I read other freelancers' proposals. First thing is that I'm taking, have, I'm having an idea about how to write a uh, proposal. And also, on my first time, I copied, for example, let's say this one looked very, really good and it's uh, close to what I want to write. This this works for the first time. So you just paste it here and try to change it as much as you can. I mean, change the way he, he express himself, ch change the, some words, add some lines. You know, just try to modify it as as much as you can. You know, make it look different. Uh, you know. So after that, there is the project milestone. I'll explain to you this, guys. Uh, imagine you are working on a project that is worth ten thousand dollars, and you will get paid, of course, I mean, after you finish the project. But imagine with me that the employer um, 
when you finish the project he no longer wants to take it and will not pay you so you just have lost a thousand dollars of work okay that's bad so what's what is the recommended solution here is to split it to one hundred dollars so will, you will get ten times you get paid you'll get paid ten times one hundred dollars each time you know like uh, you are splitting projects to 10 parts that's it so after you finish and you are sure that uh, you are done you click here in this button place a bit I will not click of course because I'm not making this proposal for uh, real so that was all of it guys hope you enjoyed it uh, if you like it the content of this video Share it with your friends, uh, subscribe for on my channel uh, for more, and see you guys. Peace!